black women, all three of y'all watching. I'm about to break down yet again why Poogie is undefeated. But before I get into that, make sure since you're here, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. <laughs> You know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. About the homeless man in Atlanta who made a public plea for a place to stay and more than a thousand women responded. This man who goes by the name of Big Boss Escobar posted in a Facebook group called Atlanta Rooms for Rent. He said, I recently lost my home, just need a place that is reasonable price so I can get back on my feet. I'm tired of sleeping in Atlanta shelters. Very quiet person and stay to myself, work a job and also have a clothing line. I moved to Atlanta from St. Louis, Missouri four years ago. If anybody have any resources you can send my way, I will accept. Thank you, I appreciate it. And of course, the women came through. You can come stay with me, boo, a woman named Britt wrote. Off bed, cold AC, plenty of food, and the Wi-Fi jumping. A woman named Tish Lee wrote, you can stay with me. A woman named Courtney said, woo, if you're in my area, you can come stay with me for free. I'll take care of you. After his post went viral and more than a thousand women responded to his request for a place to stay, he went on Facebook Live to clarify that he's not just a pretty face. He's looking for something real. I want it to be the woman I'm finna lock in with. So whoever it is, all that I look good, is you really trying to lock in so we can get shit right. Now be for real, ladies. If he came up to you and said he needed a place to stay, how would you respond? <laughs> See, guys, I want to set the stage here. This is the type of man that is irresistible to the modern day black woman. He ain't lying. Dreads, Jordans. He's got a pit bull. He's got all the markings of a hood guy. Yep. He's got tattoos. He has that hood gun swing. I can bet my bottom dollar that we all know why he's looking for a place to stay. Care to take a guess? Leave a comment if you think you already know. His baby mama must have kicked him out. Get the hell out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. Get out! So this is the typical, stereotypical hood guy, Glock Tavius, hood tyrant that black women love to procreate with. <laughs> women. And these are the same guys that will destroy black women. They will leave you. They will leave you pregnant. They will desert you. They will be a deadbeat. And then, not only that, they will not only destroy the black woman, but then, by the time he's done with you, even the good guys don't want you. Mess with a hood guy if you want to. You'll be ending up like this woman. Adam hated wrong. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. So I came across this. Realizing why no man wants me because I got six kids at the age of 22. And then she puts at the bottom, like, what the F is wrong with having six kids? A lot. <laughs> a lot. And let me say this. The only reason that I could think that a person would want to have six kids by age 22 is because you get more public assistance the more kids that you have. Because I can't see any reason. And I don't even understand how this math works. Did she start having children when she was 14, 13, 14 years old? And has she been pregnant damn near every year since? That doesn't make any sense. Now, here's the thing. That's not even the worst part. If you go look at this video and you look at the comments and see what people are saying in the comments, like it's one girl in the comments who says, I have seven and I'm pregnant right now with my eighth. <laughs> I beg your finest pardon, ma'am. I beg your pardon. 
I beg your pardon. Hey, kids, this is not the 1920s, y'all. And I'm looking at this, and the sad thing about it is they are really confused why men are like, yeah, I'm okay. They're really confused why they're not getting excellent dates and excellent options. They're really legitimately confused. Someone needs to go and explain this to them so they can understand it. Ladies, gather around, because I'm going to explain what's wrong here. You actually think that you're going to get the best man. You actually think that you're going to get a man to take care of you, provide for you, protect you, and take care of kids that are not his. This is what men are saying. It's not that you can't get a man. It's the fact that your options, when you have multiple kids and baby daddies, dry up more than the Sahara Desert. And then you're looking confused as if you don't know what's going on. I can't tell you scared of these men. Not the way you be out here giving out your address so freely and letting them come over there and Netflix and chill. The way you be going over their house when you don't even know them. Y'all remember when I told you that my content was going to age well? Well, it looks like it and I already started. I done been saying since I got on this app, don't let women fool you. They care about looks just as much as men. A lot of times they'll put looks aside if there's something else that they can gain in that situation with that man, like a lifestyle or money. But trust and believe, they still care about looks. All of these women who was going around lying and capping for the man versus bear just so that they could be in agreement with other women, just so that they could get brownie points from other women when the reality of it was a lot of them are desperate, pathetic women who would always pick the man, right? And now you're getting to see for yourself. You got comment sections full of women talking about they would house this man, feed this man. And then you got the Wade Wilson situation. You got the women lusting over a murderer. But these was the same women who told you that they were scared of the man, right? And then you got people talking about, this ain't the same women. It's absolutely the same women. When I made my ver my video about Wade Wilson, you know what triggered it? Because I was under the comments section and I started clicking on profiles. And you know what I did? I clicked on a profile and I started strolling and I seen my face. I seen my face because this woman made a take about me and then had the audacity to be in the comment section lusting over Wade Wilson. And that's the reason why I made my video. So to sit up and say these ain't the same women is absolutely the same women. Because at the end of the day, y'all like to impress other women on the internet. What you say on the internet and what you doing in real life is two different things. I don't play these games with y'all about believing what you saying in the comment section, what video you posted so that you can get brownie points from other women. I know how y'all living in real life i see how you live it in real life i see how you put your kids in jeopardy in real life by moving in bums because you attracted to them getting your kids molested dv and everything else because you think a man is fine you so pathetic you want a man so bad you will bring anybody up in that house just to say you got one but you'll get on the internet and make it seem like you're scared of men and you will pick the bell <laughs> I remember when women said they would choose a bear. They would choose a bear. They would rather be in the woods alone with a bear. But I wonder why. It's the men. It's the men that women choose to be with. And what women have to realize is this. Everything in life and everything you do has a choice and a consequence. Life has choices and choices have consequences. So when you lay down with a dog, don't be surprised when you get up with fleas. When you get with a hood tyrant, don't be surprised when your safety is put in jeopardy. When you get with a thug or a drunk dealer, don't be surprised when that fast life ends up with a fast demise. You see, women, life is your choice. 
And if you continue to make the bad decisions in life, then you will continue to not get anything out of it. You get nothing. You lose. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.